Ciao football lovers of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, we start immediately with the quote of the day, if not, the quote of the century, said by Pedri, because he answered the question where he would see himself in 10 years from now on, he said, well, of course, I would love to continue to play football, I see myself playing football and bald, because I always wanted to go bald, bienvenido, welcome Pedri, welcome here on the channel Pedri, if you are watching of course, don't forget to subscribe to football, the channel, don't forget to put a maximum of like, and I'm sure that you are doing the same, you're bald or you're not bald it makes absolutely no difference if you love football you're absolutely welcome here and there we go of course with the picture of the day or as means the one of yesterday with Leverkusen yesterday they beat their opponent 4-0 they continued their unbeaten run 40 games without any loss just incredible we made a short about it yesterday so if you go to the short tab here on the channel you will see which team they can possibly reach if they continue their unbeaten run and how many games they missed to be there on top the team with the less beaten games since 2000 incredible kicker of course they are dedicating their full page to the game of yesterday in cup in german cup berlin berlin is the title because they go to berlin they will play in the final of german cup against kaiser lautern in the olympia stadium of berlin they continue to win what a beautiful run for the team of xabi alonso yesterday was a day of cups not only leverkusen beat dusseldorf for Fortuna yesterday 4-0, but also Fiorentina beat Atalanta in the first leg of the semi-final with a fantastic goal of Rolando Mandragora. A goal from the distance, if you didn't see it, if you didn't have the opportunity to watch it, well, go back, watch it, because the goal is just incredible. But yesterday in France, there was also La Coupe de France with Paris Saint-Germain that won 1-0 after Mbappé missing a penalty, was able to decide the game with his only goal. Also then they will go into the final. Costo jusqu'au bout. He will be strong until the end, until the end of his journey with Paris Saint-Germain. Yesterday, not a bad performance of Paris Saint-Germain. Yesterday, a really nice Kylian Mbappé. And in Spain, Mundo Deportivo, that is always linked a bit more with Barcelona, they are thinking, how can we stop Mbappé? They are already projecting themselves in the future, nearly sure that Mbappé will be a Real Madrid player, how can we stop them? And the answer that they found to put on their first page is, we need to stop him collectively. That's the only way to stop the player of Luis Enrique at the moment, until the end of the season. Marca is not speaking about Mbappé, well, a bit, because they are saying Mbappé Mbappé sera quien decide cuando se anuncia el fijaje. He will be Mbappé, the one that will decide when he will announce where he will go. Real Madrid, of course. But they are focusing on the game that will happen in two days on Saturday with Athletic Bilbao that have the opportunity to win the Copa del Rey. Final de Copa, what a beautiful one, against Mallorca. Two clubs that were absolutely not favorite in the beginning of the tournament. They are there in the final. And the brothers William with Nico and Inica that spoke to Marca saying, we would love to live the emotions of what the people here in Bilbao, they told us. We were in the final, or they were in the final, a few years ago without any supporters, because we all remember it, COVID time, now they will be the people, the fans, and we want to play that game. We want to win that game for the fans, for the supporters, for the socios of the team Athletic Bilbao. Yesterday, not only Cups were played, but also Premier League games with Arsenal Luton, 2-0 for the Gunners, 0-0 between Brentford and Brighton, and then that big win of Manchester City, 4-1 against Aston Villa with a Phil Foden that was on fire yesterday. We'll come back on Manchester City. First, let's speak about the Gunners, 2-0 with goals of Odega, and then a known goal at the 44th minute. The game was already over easy win after the first 45 minutes then they just managed that second half top gun because at the moment as we speak they are back on the first spot of Premier League yesterday Manchester City as I told you the citizens won 4-1 what an impressive game from Phil Foden not one not two but a hat-trick three goals against Aston Villa that were even able to come back and equalize at the 20th minute with Duran equalizing the goal of Rodri Rodri one goal Phil Foden three goals Phil in the blanks is the title of star sport why because they're speaking about the fact that yesterday Pep Guardiola didn't play Holland didn't play Kevin De Bruyne but was actually filling the team with who with Phil 
Foden, Phil Foden, what a player. I can guarantee you, the day that I saw him playing football, I said, this guy has potential. The day that I saw him doing fantastic thing, I said, mm, I'm confirming what I said. The day that he was actually joking with Alessandro Del Piero, my icon, my idol at the border of that uh, field at the touchline when he was warming up I remember that game very very well well that's the moment where Phil Foden entered my heart a player that I appreciate a lot but it's not only affection it's also just watching the game watching him playing watching him scoring third hat-trick in his career is only 23 years old he already reached Drogba he already reached Cristiano Ronaldo with hat-tricks in Premier League incredible and he has a long way to go yesterday he was a superstar superstar not only with hat-tricks but also with the total goal contribution of this season 21 goals 10 assists more than Bellingham with 20 goals and 10 assists more than Cole Palmer with 18 goals and 12 assists if we are sure about one man that will go to Euro 24 representing England it is Phil Foden he will also start the games without any hesitation yesterday was another one that scored I told you it is Rodri another goal of Rodri we all remember that fantastic beautiful goal in the Champions League final why am I speaking about it because yesterday I watched episode 6 of Guardiola Manchester City treble on Netflix which was quite nice I have to say well 63 games 423 days for Rodri without losing a single game. What a record. And Phil Foden, instead of speaking about himself, he wanted to brace his teammate because he said, I'm lost for word. This guy, mate, he can do everything. I don't see any weakness in his game. For me, he's our most important player. For me, he's the best holding midfield in the world. 100%. He can really do everything. Rodri is a special player. Rodri is strong. Rodri can, according to me, I agree with Phil Foden, do everything. And now, of course, there are other games that needs to be played. And yesterday, the message of Arsenal, the message of Manchester City, they are all going towards Liverpool. Now it's your turn, Jürgen, because Jürgen will play this evening against Sheffield United. They will try to go back on the first spot. They will need to win. Otherwise, they will not be first anymore. Well, there is another game that all people that love football will also pay attention to. It is Chelsea against Manchester United. Both of the team, they try to do better than what they are doing, actually. Especially Chelsea, that is 12 but also Manchester United sixth at the moment one game in hand because they need to play this evening they can't catch up Tottenham and they know that it's extremely difficult to go in Champions League next season four or even the fifth spot is at risk the gap is too big so they are obliged to win to still keep a bit of hope to keep faith well Ten Hag said it clearly I have for myself, really high standards. And I would be extremely disappointed if we don't qualify to Champions League. But we know, I know, that it's extremely difficult because we are not in a good position. But we will continue to fight. In Italy, they are speaking a bit about changes, a bit. A lot about changes because transfer market is arriving and they are not speaking only about players. They are speaking about players, they are speaking about coaches, but also about management that are about to change from one club to the other in the Italian soul. Gazzetta dello Sport is opening with Zirigse, partially player from Bayern Munich, but he's playing this season at Bologna. They already have the yes of the Dutch player. Zirikse said yes. And what is the offer from Il Diavolo, from the Devils of Milan? Well, 50 million euro cash plus Salamakers that is already on loan in the team of Thiago Motta. On the other side, there are also other signs from Turkey this time with Vanda. Vanda, the wife of Mauro Icardi. It's not the first time that she's sending some signs via Instagram. This time she was wearing a Juventus total complete kit, a training kit of Juventus. With multiple pictures, sending a sign to Juventini, Icardi could potentially be on the transfer market and it's not the first time that we are linking him to the club of the old lady. Maybe after so many years, the dream of Icardi or maybe the dream of Vanda can become true. But on the other side, Carrera del Sport is really representing what Juventus has in mind and it is to keep their striker Dusan Vlahovic never again without Dusan because it is really impressive the difference with Dusan Vlahovic 
Milinkovic on the field or when he is absent. Juventus is doing much better with their Serbian striker and that's why they are starting to continue the negotiation to extend his contract until 2028, maybe even to reduce a bit the salary that they are at the moment out of the parameters of Juventus. Juventus that according to a lot of sources, are looking for another coach. And if there was nearly the certainty that Thiago Mota was number one in that list, well, since yesterday, from UK, some voices are arriving that Juventus is eyeing, is interested in Brighton coach Roberto De Zerbi. Roberto De Zerbi, miles away from what Juventus showed in the last few years in terms of performances and style of playing, probably Giuntoli is looking at him because that's probably what Juventus need, a total overhaul, also in terms of philosophy of playing, trying to entertain their fans more than what they did ultimately in the last few years. One that could potentially leave Juventus is Giovanni Manna, that is at the moment head of the first team, could go to Napoli as the sporting director, with apparently, according to Fabrizio Romano, already a contract of five years. And of course, coming from Juve, going to Napoli, he has already some targets in mind. Mattias Soule on loan to Frosinone could be one of the first potential targets, objectives of the new Napoli. A new Napoli? That could go with Vincenzo Italiano, coach actually at the moment of Fiorentina. Yesterday they beat 1-0 Atalanta in Coppa Italia with a fantastic, beautiful performance. Well, who could be the next one in line? Who can replace Vincenzo Italiano at Fiorentina? They were speaking about Paladino, ex-Juventus player, but at the moment coach of Monza. But why not? Possibly even... Maurizio Sarri, after leaving Lazio, he could possibly be ready for a new journey. I tell you, the summer in Italy will be extremely long. Management, coach, players, a lot will change. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Giuseppe and together we covered football.